very strange uh, situation like the whole preparations is kind of strange this year because like in April we had our uh, whole uh, lineup ready uh, internationally and nationally but then like Covid was hitting in very hard we took the decision to uh, to cancel the lineup uh, we choose for a completely Dutch lineup but like the most positive thing about it was that we could uh, give uh, all the shine to all the Dutch artists I think that that's a very nice thing for this edition Cool. My name is uh, Janis de Man and uh, right now I'm painting a big rocket for Power. Every time there's a different idea. Sometimes it can become a snake or it becomes a fish or something like Lego. I don't know. After two days I thought, ah oh, fuck, I have to make a rocket out of this. Because the whole situation is, it, it is almost a rocket, only it wasn't painted there yet. Because there's all kind of NASA things around it and you, there's an entree to the, to the rocket. and. Yeah, w when it's finished, it's very logical that it's here, <laughs> at least for me. S sometimes I'm too focused and then uh, I just have my music on and then and sometimes I like uh, talking. I, most of the time I just blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, yeah I like people. <laughs> it's like crazy on the south side, right? It's not like a lot of people, so these kind of festivals are good now. For now, they are nice. Very corona proof, very corona proof, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, I mostly paint canvases and make drawings for exhibitions. It all evolved from street work to studio work. So uh, instead of using spray cans, I mean, I use some spray cans, but not that much. So I just like to do all the brush work instead of traditional graffiti painting. It's more like working, working in layers and you don't have to take like 50 cans in this little basket. So you basically just take like five buckets of paint. They're not like colors you can buy. You mix everything yourself and that makes it more personal. So I thought like, well, if this is a big canvas, let's, let's, make it, let's make it bigger. So I basically just made a photo from the canvas. So it's like a bigger version of, of my studio work. It's pretty, it, it's good. I mean, the organization, I mean, I know some people for a lot of years. They're my friends and they invited me and I'm, I'm pretty honored. I mean, everybody's getting like, taken good care of. Everybody comes together. The memories from the people, they, they always stay with you. Every, everywhere you go, there are different people. We painted the whole building so we could apply the COVID measures. The sun was out, uh, the sponsors really came through, they, they, got, they got free paint, free gloves, free bags. If you're a fan of graffiti or if you, if you really love graffiti and you know the history of Dutch graffiti, you're going to be impressed by the lineup because there's some real legends in the lineup. Graffiti no team they did a great job. So, um, like for us, for Power to collaborate with them was like perfect. Welcome hey. to Pow Wow Day 3! <laughs> Peacock is Pau. I thought, man, Pau, and amazing is wow in Dutch, so the title is Pau, wow. <laughs> a lot of details and really sharp and also raw, but a lot of layers. And yeah, normally I combine uh, pixels with realism and abstraction, so I'm really pushing the boundaries with those elements. I want, we want to put uh, the soul in it. The soul? The soul, like, uh, yeah, the eye, you know? It's all about the eye at the end, because people look at the eye. When you meet someone, you look in his eyes and, ah, I can trust him or not, you know. A bunch of nice guys and we have fun and nice food, really good organization and also the place is a bit crazy as well, but it's all about memory making at the end, you know. 
you know, uh, and, and that's the funny thing when you paint walls in different cities or villages, or whatever. I think street art, mural art, it's, it's really like a family. It fits Pow Wow because that's all about family. Next to being an artist, I'm a teacher as well. So I'm teaching this girl how to make art and street art and paintings and art and all this kind of stuff. I had my whole year planned out. I was really working for this year to just all different stuff and all of a sudden Rona was here. So but yeah, then this came around the corner. So I had time to develop myself more as an artist. The theme is Alice in Wonderland. The white rabbit. I just followed the idea of being a muralist. So I just followed my white rabbit into the rabbit hole. And it's kind of a reflection of this place as well because I think this is Wonderland, but Pawa is Wonderland for me as well. So this is the Mad Hatter and the white rabbit, and this is Alice. Yeah, I think it's a metaphor of myself as well. What is the thing that there are not that many girls in the street art scene? Is it because it's this rough or is it that the girls are not assertive enough? I don't know, there should be more girls. Do you feel any of those issues? Well, I'm assertive, I think. <laughs> I have a big mouth, maybe the, too big. If you had to promote the message of, in, of inclusivity, how would you, what would you say? Well, for girls, dare to be uh, a human and not a, a female. I'm uh, Joram Raukes. I'm a fine artist, visual artist, and a mural artist. I live in Amsterdam. Okay, yeah. okay so that's the end of this interview then? <laughs> you can cut that out too. <laughs> Should I say I really like Rotterdam? You I do really honest. like Rotterdam. Okay. Yeah. I had done the previous powwow in Hawaii a couple years ago, uh, so I knew a little bit about the festival. The vibe is very similar. The environment is a little different, obviously. It's still a great time, you know, it's just hanging out, making art with great people. So, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, this is a little bit of a recycled design. Partly my own stuff, uh, photos that I take myself, I uh, steal stuff from the internet, uh, Instagram, whatever stores gives me anything, I'll take it and I'll reappropriate a little bit, sometimes more than others. I feel like that's, that's a big part of visual culture nowadays. Everything has sort of been done, but you can be original in the way you reappropriate images or you know, make, make original and, and unique compositions out of existing stuff. I think that's, that's what I try to do at least. For me it's always the contrast, so I, I try to find images that seemingly have nothing to do with each other and I combine them and I create a new story with them. The, the boots, the boots I painted are really, really gigantic, so I kind of like convey this down-to-earth mentality, like both feet on the ground. I think that refers to the working class for sure, so that, that's a story that kind of like came about. Rotterdam doesn't have the typical old town charm that Amsterdam or like older cities have, but there's, uh, there's definitely a lot of character to the city. I really appreciate that.
on top, on the, on the upper floor, we're gonna make nine beds with three bunk beds and three normal beds. So we're gonna take seven people with us. So we're gonna travel around Europe with it. So you're gonna wake up somewhere else every day. Wow. And it was already uh, quite an eye catcher. But now with Timon, Timon's work on it, it's, got, it's even better. My name is Timon de Laat. I'm an uh, artist from uh, Rotterdam. I got invited to paint the bus for uh, La Caravana. Yeah, it's an English double-decker bus. It managed a dream come true. Like I did a Beetle in Mexico. When I saw this, I thought like, well, that's kind of like a next cool item step up. And the nice thing is that you can paint around it. So it kind of, it's a different approach to your composition. Because it's going to be a driving hostel. It's going to drive all over Europe. The trading routes between the, the Middle East and Europe, where they had the Bedouin ladies uh, traveling along with them. Uh, I wanted to portray a strong woman because it's four girls that run the hostel. So I thought that would be cool. Um, and I do it with my, uh, well, my typical style where I use a lot of color in the face. I, I like it to show that we're all people, no matter what color we have, to take away the attention from the skin color. And I like it when they do uh, say something about it because this opens up a conversation. Why, why are you painting a Mexican lady or why are you painting a Bedouin lady? Uh, and I say for exactly this reason, as long as you need to keep asking this question, I need to keep painting it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a big world and sometimes we, we tend to forget that the lines that we draw in the sand and we call borders makes somebody else less human than the person on the other side of the border. You're just more fortunate, you know? Uh, and you really have to appreciate what you have. Uh, so therefore I would like to say that we're all just one humanity and that's what I like to paint. put everywhere. We have tape that says one and a half meters. We have hand sanitizer everywhere. We uh, want to do corona circles where you can sit in with your family and stay one and a half meter apart from other people. And then we thought we have to pow wow that. We really wanted to do the vans and we really wanted to do it in the park. Uh, so we kind of pushed through and I think we wanted the first festivals to be held this year. So we're really, really excited that we made it work. I'm Erico Schmidt, um, artist doing Pow Wow. This year I was selected with two other illustrators to be a city illustrator. We had to make illustrations about Rotterdam during Corona. So I had this character, uh, which is my son, and I have him captured in different emotions. It's like a six frame animation. And we're rotating around the house, and he's kind of constricted to the house through this red line. So he's he wants to be free, but he's missing his friends, he wanted to go back to school, because he's got a lot of energy. So that's the concept for the house and this year and Corona and power. I really wanted it to, to be like a physical space that 2020 was visualized. So my experience with Pow Wow is, um, yeah, I like it. I like the whole organization. I think it's important that culture has a stage during this time, because that's basically what we are, culture, are we express ourselves. and. So I think it's, it's a good thing in, in, in that sense. Um, so I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining.